there's a, a clear paradox in business in that in all surveys, even the most recent PwC CEO survey, you have in this particular case, 40% of CEOs thinking that their company will not survive at the current rate of innovation. Uh, they will prioritize innovation as a top three agenda item for the boardroom. And the people who are practicing innovation um, in a way are seem to be very, always very tied to specific projects. But whatever way you look at it, the big bets of the company are resting in the hands of the innovation manager. And mostly she or he is leading the smartest people in the com company or the organization who are likely to have a higher level of interest and engagement in the future than in the present, in innovation rather than activation. But when I was working in this space as one of the first heads of ideation for a big company, I couldn't help noticing that inevitably when the big plum jobs came up in the C-suite in or the organization, they never went to innovation people. Uh, despite the fact that they'd shown all these wonderful skills of, you know, uh, of leadership and project management and risk taking and stewardship of projects through an organization, they always went to people who'd had p l responsibility for big brands or big territories. And what tended to happen then is the innovation people tended to leave. Uh, they were overlooked and they moved into different organizations, which represents a huge drain on um, you know, the tacit knowledge of, of an organization. The necessity for developmental pathways for people in who aspire to stay in the world of innovation management is really important. One of the um, bits of data that we have seen or evidence that we have seen, it harkens back to something Peter said earlier about how people will leave the companies due to frustration uh, associated with the lack of career paths around innovation management. We, we see people leaving the organizations because they don't necessarily want to go into more operational excellence roles. But the scary part for executives when they hear the sort of the evidence that we have is that they tend to join other organizations in their innovation roles. And so we're losing this very rare kind of person to competitive companies. And I think that that's a major concern that seasoned executives should be aware of in terms of the need to continue to cultivate this kind of talent and develop them internally if you want to hold on to them.